we go. Oh. My. God. Hi everyone, Gregor here, the Goatee Geek, uh, working you back to my uh, single player server. I'm just uh, trying out some more patch things and uh, sorting out my uh, living accommodation. Uh, I was a bit exposed here when I created my cottage, so I'm just uh, walling it in a little bit. And uh, I thought I'd bring you along just to show you some of the things I'm doing. I'm just at the moment building the, the wall and I should be able to uh, show you what I'm doing here. And you may be wondering, how am I placing the walls here? Well the answer is, I've got using the Stone Plus uh, fence, uh, fence supports. And you've got an option of switching them off so you can't see them. So I've switched them off so it looks a bit nicer. And of course the wonderful S Plus you can place things down below and cover up all those little gaps. Which is really nice. And the other thing I'm trying here. Have I got things on me? Yes, I've got them on me. The other thing I was trying as well is, to keep dinosaurs out, you'd normally build up three high. And, well, I wanted to keep the view. So I wondered if it was possible to uh, use glass, glass to uh, hide the fact that there's a wall there. And I think it's possible. If I put that there, you can see it's got the, well, I'll turn the hood back on. You can see that the stone wall is 10,000, the glass is 10,000, and next to this glass here, I've got a glass wall. And here. Even though it looks like there's no wall there at all. So I think this is a pretty neat idea. I could do with the model selector. There we go. Uh, just bring that out. And we'll say no sides. And I think, why not try this as well? Yes, that's where I managed to demo it, haven't I? That's the demo gun. I picked the wrong thing. Demo gun, yeah. Model selector. I did have a transparency thing. I don't know what it is. I'll have to track it down. Let's just put that back again. Cool. And uh, I need to finish off the taking the walls all the way around. But in the meantime, let me just give you a look at, uh, give you a show at what I've been up to. I've, uh, I decided this is going to be like a little cottage type thing, you know, where we can, uh, a bit like a a, far, uh, a croft that you'd see in the Highlands. It's not exactly like that, but that's the feel it gives me. And uh, there's Iggy Pop waiting for me and this is the this is a work in progress but this is how it looks at the moment it's quite basic I've got my little wood pile outside there and uh, got myself some stone steps there and I think I've got a setting which I shouldn't have on on let me just uh, sort that out 
There we go. That's better. I was doing something earlier, and uh, I just realised I was a. Uh, I still had fly mode enabled, and I didn't want to be flying around. I want to be walking around. So yes, it is the front of my cottage. I got myself some stone steps leading up. Uh, this is a bit cluttered at the moment because I've been building some bits and pieces for decoration, so those are going to disappear. Inside, I've got uh, my little indoor walls. In the bedroom, oh, I haven't unpacked my suitcases yet, but there we go, that's my bedroom. Very nice. And in my living room, I've got myself a nice little sofa I can sit on. And I've got a, a bit of decoration going up. Not sure about the salmon yet. The salmon may have to go. But, uh, yeah, I've just been reading up on some of the dinosaurs in this place. There we go. And uh, I've got some reading to do later. So, yes. So this is my little uh, croft. And out back, I've got myself a barrel and some more wood. So, yes. As I say, it's a work in progress, but it's, it's sort of getting there. So I'm going to finish off doing this wall, and I'll bring you back when I've finished, and we're going to go look for an Equus after the, the failure last time. So catch you soon. Right, I've just finished the last of the walls, and I'm just doing a quick sweep around my base, make sure I haven't missed anything. As you can see, I'm down here near the redwoods and the, uh, the swamp, so it's nice to be protected. So nothing's going to get up here. And this is just down below my house, so I'm sure I could do something with down here. Maybe put the greenhouse down here, or do some landscaping. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I've got the eco mods uh, on uh, loaded up, so I'm sure I could do something nice looking. Now, ah, this could be an issue. Yeah, they could walk around here. I need to, uh, I think I need to put, extend the wall down a bit further. But yeah, despite appearances, that's uh, free high because I've got the glass walls up there. There we go. So, yeah, it gives me a chance to be able to look out. Uh, it doesn't obstru obstruct the views, which I quite like. Yeah, and it all goes all the way around. Plenty of space inside. I might get some spawns, but that's not too bad. And I've got the gate here and the gate over there to get out, just behind that big rock there. And I've still not decided what to do with the interior. And I think this will seal off at this side. Yeah, yeah, that's safe enough. So I just need to uh, fill in a bit on the other side, but that can wait for another day, unless I get unlucky. I should be okay there. Oh, fire's, uh, the fire's on. I think it's coming up for night, so I'm going to stay in for the night, and then Echo's time. I think I need to clean these up as well, pick these up. So let's just grab that. And grab that. Oh, there's something in there. What was in? Oh, some. Oh, after yeah, that's where I left my saddle. Oh, what am I like? Let's just grab those, and I may as well take that and put it in the inside. And did I leave anything in here? Did I leave anything in here? I'll have some fibre in here. Okay. Uh, I'll pick this up till I can find a better place for it. There we go, that's cleared up the porch. Now I just need to wait for morning. And we can go hunting for a horse. So, there we go. Yes, it's looking a bit empty over in that corner there, but uh, ah, it's getting there, it's getting there. 
So, see you soon. Hi everyone, I was down here in the Southern Islands and i just seen a lead a lead sixthis that is enormous holy moly I can't remember if he's a friendly or not, I know they attack rafts I wonder if I can get close enough to see how big it is. Now, oh, where's it gone? How do you lose something that big? Ah, there it is. Oh, stingers, 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 stingers. Well, where's he gone? Oh, Raptor over there. I'll see if I can get closer. Just give me a. Just let me have a look. I'm trying again to get a, another look. It's way down there. I'm not sure I can get down there with my oxygen. I'm not sure what else is down there. No, I think I'd better leave that well alone. Uh, we go. Well, I'll continue my hunt for the Equus. No sign of it yet. I'll bring you back here if I find one. I can't believe how close he's coming to shore. I'm just gonna watch as a sarco over that way. Let's see if I can get close. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is big. Scrape meat. Whoop. That is big. Where did that Sarko go? Whoop. Okay. Oh, Quetz just appeared. Oh, I'm still not having any joy finding a... Uh, Echoes though. I wonder what level that. Oh, it's gone again. Okay. I continue the hunt. Okay, story of my life. I spend a couple of hours looking around for an Equus. 
And this one is right near my base. Now then. What have we got? Oh. My. God. It's a 150. Is that another one over there? It's a 150. I'm gonna have to get it. I'm gonna have to get it. How the hell do I get it? Oh, bugger. Okay. Let's uh, think about this. Okay, I've got my ghillie suit on. And I've got some rock carrots. And I suppose I have to try and sneak up on it. So... Well, that's not going to do me any good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Come from behind. Hopefully the ghillie suit is helping me out here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's coming back this way. It's not, it's not spooked yet. Ah, it went over the rock. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes. Is it a horse? Is it a goat? It's going up those rocks quite a bit. It's roaming quite a bit. Hopefully not, not into anything dangerous. Otherwise I'm in deep trouble. Mind you, I've got my rifle on me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't let the 150 get away. going on? Oh. What a time to get a call on the phone. Now where did he go? There it is. Oh, now it's running. Oh, maybe it's a bit of a lag or something on the computer. Now, uh, why did I leave my dinosaur so I can catch up on it? Ha ha ha! Yes, I should have kept track of where I was. Up on a rock somewhere, and have a look. And have a look if I was there. Now, what's that horse over there? Oh, no, I didn't want that. One twenty. One twenty? One twenty. Female. 
not about colour. Although I can't say I'm choosy at the moment. But I really want that 150. I do like these iguanodons, they've got a bit of speed on them. Let's just have a scout this way, just so we can see that black one. In a 150 hours, what's the odds? What are the odds? A power saw over there. No sign of the Equus there. Got a few lag issues here. That female is still around, so I might just try for the female over there. Let's see if I can get the knack of this tra this uh, taming. Because at the moment I don't seem to have the knack of it. Crouch. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Iggy. Thank you. Unbelievable. What level are you? Four compy. There we go. Now then, can I try taming now, please? Thank you very much. Oh, and the horse stayed. Let's give this a go. Crouch. It's a big poop for a small horse. Okay. Oh! Have we got it? 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 Come on! 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 There we go. Come on. Wish I could see what the saving effect of this was. Oh, shit. Why do I keep jumping off it? Okay. Oof. Oh, I'm not used to this. Ah, there we go. When it starts booking, you've got to give it the carrot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
You will be mine. Yee. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, it's a rock. Okay. Oh, I can see tame infectors at the side there. 33%. That's not very good. But still, it's an Equus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I love the animation on this. It's fantastic. Well, it's not the 150, but it's the 120. Come on. Taming 50%. 50% more of this. Okay. Well, it's stuck against the rock again. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oof. Come on. <laughs> yes. I think I'm getting the knack of this now. When it starts booking, you just got to feed it the carrot. As long as it doesn't book, try to book when it starts to lag. 75%. Come on. Whew, just got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got it! Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Right, now then. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I just gotta find a uh, Iggy. Oh, there's Iggy. Hello, oh, Iggy. Oh yeah, that's what you think of the new uh, Dino, is it? Well, let's get the saddle out of Iggy. I was going to crash then. <laughs> oh! Helps if I actually put the saddle on. Right. We'll get Iggy following. Get him on neutral as well. Okay, let's check this up. Let's get him back to base and we'll see what he can do. Oh, yes, this is this is fantastic. Let's have a look around. That's the kick. That's the bite. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that for a screenshot, I think. Oh, 
<laughs> well, that's enough playing around. Let's get him back to base, and I'll bring him back later. Okay, so I'm back at base, and I've got her back. I keep calling him, it's a her. And, yeah, I can see where they've got the design from, because this is uh, from a... I believe this is from a, a race of extinct zebras that lived, lived in Africa one time, and that's what they based the model on. They have got really good with the models in this game. I mean, look at the detail on the uh, the saddle. That looks fantastic. Uh, but I haven't got a name for her. I need a name. Iggy was easy. I'm surprised if there's not like a 80 million Iggy Pops out there. But this one? I don't know. If it had been male, I suppose I could have called it Mr. Ed, but that's a bit derivative. I need a name. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the stats. Uh, I've got some levels on it. So we've got, we've got health 1536, that's not too bad. Stamina 1624, and that wasn't going down at all. Well, hardly ever. Hardly at all when I was, when I was, when I was riding it. Uh, weight 504, that's reasonable. Melee damage 206, and movement speed 120. Very nice. And we've got, oh, right, we can make a lasso. We can make a propellant. We can make cement. Oh, like, so it's a little mortar and pestle, basically. So we can do druggers as well. That's good. So we've got a portable mortar and pestle. Ah, that's excellent. That's excellent. Really good. Really good. And what was that? That kicks the one that does the torp, apparently. I'd love to try that one out. But uh, I think that's going to be for another episode. So... From here... I think uh, it's time to say goodnight from the, uh, the Ponderosa, or whatever you want to call this place. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.